waiting for my bag and then I go to exit ah, terminal 3 for connecting. Hello, thank you. So you're going to be on the first right over here. First right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, we're finally seated. I got the window seat. We got seated at 22, 22, like 10. We got seated at 10, 10, 22 p.m. So, like, and we are supposed to board like 22, 45. So, so yeah, it's quite nice. You still have like leg space. Yeah. <laughs> Previously on Kemto Bear Dubai vlogs, we left, finally left. Kenya and you have to say goodbye this is the flight this is how it look we flew with Emirates this is my second time flying with Emirates first time solo my first time going to Dubai guys but it's a connecting flight and in this video watch this video till the end you'll get to see where we are actually going yeah you guys guessed it but you haven't guessed it right still so this is where watch this video till the end Subscribe, uh, road to 50,000 subscribers. We want, yeah, so yeah, this is previous. I did prefer my travel vlog. Thank God my bag, my check-in bag was 20 kgs. We checked in at exactly the time and we boarded the plane. You are at 32, ma'am. Oh, sorry. The, Thank in you. In the middle, yeah. <laughs> so, so here is the meal. The meal was so good. We're gonna be debriefing real, real quick, and we ate to our fullest. Uh, the food was fresh and they kept on like uh, can I have like wine white wine white I got two drinks white wine and mango juice let's talk about the meal they provided they provided like a three course meal the chicken this is chicken butter rice and some carrots, some chocolate mousse. It was so good. The chocolate mousse was so good. The lentils, the what I didn't like is the lentil salad, but it was still good. The chicken and the meal was so fresh, guys. It was so good. And I'm not even being paid to say this. This is so true. The chocolate mousse, it was chocolate mousse something. It was so good. Caramelized, it was so fresh. The cookie was so 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 good we also even given tea tea or coffee you choose and the water the first time i flew with emirates the water was heavy it was gel like but this one was so good the the bread was i don't know if you call bread bun was fresh the chocolate they also given us chocolate it was so good guys 10 over 10 rate their food like a hundred a hundred it was so good i was so impressed the wine was also nice you could order like wine unlimited not unlimited but you know what i mean like you can ask for a second round and they don't mind it was so good and that's my coffee and then I, uh, i'm gonna debrief like the toilet also so this is basically how the emirates island this is my how many times i've flown with emirates like this is my fifth time fifth time flying with them and their service is so 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 good i loved it the first time i don't remember if you remember but i wasn't 
I flew with them when I was going from to Mumbai and then the stop was Dubai. And this is like the bed bathroom. Two hours before landing, I decided to go to the bathroom to freshen up. You know, it's so clean. It's so fresh. It smells nice, guys. And the toilet is always like clean. And then I had to wash my pants, guys. I was vlogging for you. So I spilled. You remember that juice? That's why I asked for a second round of juice. Because I was like, <laughs> I don't want to be seen like a ear. You know, always people think like because I'm like heavy plus size extra f extra curve here and there that i eat a lot i actually do not eat a lot yeah i eat like moderate i'm just blessed to have this body of mine so that's why i asked for a second round of juice because all that juice peeled on my pants and my pants were black thank god they were linen so i washed them and i walked it it dried like the ac dried the linen like quickly so yeah, I was refreshing. I love my lip balm. I love having it. This is the best sunscreen that I have, Lancome. And then it was time to uh, alight. You see, this is fast. I think this is f business class. Yeah, one day, inshallah, God willing, we'll be in that first class. And then we alighted, Hello. guys. It's really nice to have nice. a flight with you. Yes, bye. Have a, have a good vacation. Yeah, you too. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye. And uh, yeah, let's continue with. And the flight was really amazing. We ate as much as we can. Like you can reorder like a lot of them. So yeah. So we are here. We, are, we have a connecting flight. So let's go and see the connecting flight. We're in Dubai International Airport, but this is like connecting. Guess where we are going? If you're loving this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, yeah. See? Let's see. Let's see if you can guess where we are going. The flight. So, the total flight. The total flight hour was like, how long? Five hours. It was really fast. I did not even sleep. So guys, everything is just, I need to go to Terminal 3 because that's where I'm connecting in, guys. So yeah, that's how I'm connecting because that's, like I'm going, I'm connecting for a flight, I have like five hours layover at the Dubai International Airport. So, yeah. At a visitor like is thing and 10 gigabytes for free connect to wi-fi for free and scan the qr code <sighs> want a visitor line yeah i want a visitor line dubai is a futuristic country guys like i was so amazed at how big this international airport is it's so clean everything is like it's a it has a smart code smart code everything is smart code Guys, we finish with passport control. Guys, Dubai is everything is smart gate. Like, you don't need 
everything I don't know if you see so but I'm waiting for my bag now I don't know if it will be here waiting for my bag and then I go to exit ah, terminal 3 for our connecting yeah see And guys, we got like a tourism free e SIM card with free 10 gigabytes. Oh, this is amazing! I'm loving it. Free tourism and it's 5 GB. Wow, all those are my bags there. No, I do not know we are supposed to come here, so I don't see my bag. Everything is smart, so you have to check here to know where your bag is. I was waiting at the wrong place, so it's number seven. Belt number seven. Wow, so this is, I was waiting at the wrong, wrong one. What's in? Backside, Limousine Black, Big Bus, uh -huh. this logo Emirates. Wait, so I go exit go three. Uh -huh. Take left. Uh -huh. Get number, uh, exit number three. Okay. Okay, but you exit live in the US three. or Canada? <laughs> I live in Nairobi. Okay, sister. So exit three? Yeah, you can go straight, yeah, but you can take luggage first. If okay. If you want to take troll, you can take troll free. Troll, okay, thank you. <laughs> so... Now we have taken our bag. We are going to exit three. So, yeah. Oh, Dubai is amazing. some reason the tourist free sim card didn't work for me and I had to, uh, I had to report the 
do, do I don't know how to say it card and I got this thing confused me to buy prepaid sim card guys can you guess how much I paid for this this is the most expensive thing I've ever bought I bought it at 81 euros I'm screaming up to now unlimited unlimited data so yeah for unlimited data for a month I am I am shooketh to be honest I didn't even need I didn't even need the data because in there's Wi-Fi everywhere like this Wi-Fi at the airport like high speed 5g free wi-fi you just connect to it i don't know why i needed the wi-fi i really do not know i thought because yeah i'm connecting oh that's why i thought like during my connection because you're going from i don't know if you should tell it but you already know if you've reached here this is editing came to actually we've already arrived at our destination so like <sighs> It a one euros off the train and I already had already changed it. <laughs> it was like one two ninety nine D Rams. Eh, it's paining me up to now anyway. Let's move. So I got it because of getting the bus so that I can communicate with the person who I'm meeting so I do not lose connection. But actually, even in the bus, I think there was Wi-Fi. Like, even like when the waiting lodge in Abu Dhabi, there was Wi-Fi in the Emirates lodge. So all in all, you do not need to buy it. And if you really want to buy it, just buy it, the smallest one. But even the 6 gigabytes was $24. So yeah, it is what it is already done. Just don't be like me. You do not need it at 1 euros for internet, okay? Mm. Guys, finally the bus shuttle from from here to take us from Dubai International Airport to where to Abu Dhabi. Finally, we are going to Abu Dhabi. This is the final destination. Wait and see who I'm meeting. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch my series. I've done uh, park with me. They are very insightful. Uh, Dubai, Kenya, also, and this is the that uh trip you're staying here for a long time so let me know in the comment section if you are in abu dhabi or dubai let me know so and you watch me you wanna meet me let me know okay okay now let's go hey creating content for kazi so it's we are it's gonna take from from dubai international airport to take by bus guys we're in the bus right now I'm gonna take like I think two two hours and 15 minutes mm -hmm. yeah I'm exhausted so guys I thought I'm gonna shoot content wait I thought I was gonna shoot content with this one like the GoPro but I've not even used it animation motor like it's like like it just consume like it doesn't retain battery like I haven't even used it I've been using my phone so I was like okay now I'm gonna like show you the like outside how it's looking like on the way to Abu Dhabi from Dubai but it's done so I need to get something else to get maybe the DJI yeah because look look five percent and I haven't haven't even used it so I need to get the DJI mark DJI three pocket DJI Osmo three pocket okay Oh, and I also have to get a prepaid SIM card because the other one did not work so I didn't get like if it did not work 
like something happened like they forgot like to stamp it or something so I did not get it so I had to buy this one you cannot imagine how much data is here like 5g data is expensive like expensive I paid like 299 dirhams that's like a hand it's like a hundred euros to get unlimited data for for the tool for the it's it's two weeks yeah i get unlimited for two weeks so unlimited calls it's like a trio i feel like this is the most perfect country in uae abu dhabi Lavish, luxurious, and lively in equal measure, Dubai continues its epic ascent on the world stage. To a large part of the world's population, Dubai is the Vegas of Arabia, a place that takes pride in turning every notion previously held about the Middle East on its head. Famed for outlandish developments like Palm Jumeirah, home of to Atlantis, the Palm, and the made famous by Tom Cruise, Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, the city has over the years made break breaking world records and national pastime, tallest, longest, fastest, largest, think of it and the city's probably done it. So this is why I needed to, I, did, I took the bus connection so that I can see Dubai and what's inside Dubai from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. Crammed with never ending malls, aquariums, indoor ski bars, dancing fountains, you name it so catering to all these visitors is no small fee which is why dubai will have soon have more hotel rooms than larger cities like london new york according to zoom property insights leading the charge is Burj al Raj, one of the most iconic landmarks renowned for its self-presented seven star status this 2040 urban master plan as set out by sheikh mohammed bin rashid visit Vice President of the <laughs> Habibi, we've arrived in Abu Dhabi, guys. Exactly on time. I'm waiting for my friend to come pick me up. But she's going to take a while to come here. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go to a restaurant or I don't know where to go, guys. But this is Abu Dhabi. It's been a long journey. Like it's five hours from Nairobi to Dubai. And then I had to wait five hours layover. And then it's two hours drive from Dubai, Dubai International to Abu Dhabi. And it's such a scenic view. You see like tall buildings and then you see like desert and then you see like beach, uh, ocean, island, yeah. So, yeah, I'm tired, the guys, talk to you later. So first thing first, I'm gonna order, like download Karem, C-A-R-E-E-M, it's equivalent to Uber, and it's much cheaper here in UAE, Karem. So I had, mm. this is nice. So we're gonna get lost. So guys, my friend came to pick me up. Look at my face is set right. Okay, I'm not. I haven't vlogged. Okay. Because I know. <laughs> I've vlogged around people, so I know now. <laughs> not everyone wants to be on camera. Like even me, if I'm not like even me. I don't mind, but I've had a, yeah. I've been having a rough day. And you have a work. nice, nice wig. Thank you. It's a, it's a wig, wig. It's yeah, really nice. Less, uh, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you're here because at least now you can do the front for me because I don't know how to do the flat iron the front. I can't do yeah. that. Oh, it's nice. So, yeah, she came to pick me up, guys. <laughs> we're in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> say hi. Hi, I'm driving. I can't <laughs> say. I can't look at the camera. <laughs> But hi. Okay. <laughs> okay. which calls for developing a 20-minute city, allowing residents 
access to 80% of their daily needs and destinations within 20 minutes by foot or bike, making the global city feel more like a home town. So Abu Dhabi, this is where we are definitely going. Did you guess it right, K-Tribe? Did you? Did you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so less glitz, glitzy than Dubai, but equally ambitious in its influence. This is the new cultural capital of the UAE. Sandstone walls tell tales of the Arabian Nights. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque sings a symphony of white marble and Islamic motifs. The nomadic Louvre Abu Dhabi raises proudly on Saidit Island, all against the backdrop of opulent hotels mega malls and ATMs that quite literally dispense bars of gold. From a pearl diving port that house mangroves and gazelles to an oil and gas superpower to a global arts and culture destination, Abu Dhabi has time and again reinvented itself in ways big and bigger. The Emirate tops a viral proximity index. Yeah. So as part of its growth roadmap, the Emirate aims to invest upwards, to, upwards of 12 billion into culture and tourism, helping diversify the economy away from oil and drawing in more visitors. This puts Sadiat Airlight in the limelight as host of performances and exhibitions of Manarat Al Sad and Bakaya Abu Dhabi, and future home of the Natural History Museum Abu Dhabi, the new local. The National Museum and many more, which you're gonna be exploring in the upcoming videos. We're doing our daily vlogs every day, so please subscribe and stay tuned to this channel. We're aiming to 50,000 subscribers, and you'll get to watch more about the Dhabi and all the amusements and excursions. Guys, we have arrived. I'm so tired now, it's catching up to me. So, guys, we've arrived in the house. We have KFC. This is gonna be my first time trying KFC in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. I heard we, do, we don't say Abu Dhabi the way they say it. They say it. It's not the way they say it. <laughs> okay. What's, what did you order? Um, I ordered this for you. Two and pieces. I ordered three pieces of wings for you, So good. <laughs> this is so good. Is it expensive here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in Yeah, it has coleslaw. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And they are uh, and they are hot. They are really hot in a nice way. Mm -hmm. See, and it's a, a lot. The portion is big. Mm-hmm. 
You wanna try the chip? Chip. At the flight, they really had a good meal. I was shocked. Everything, even the chocolate mm -hmm. mousse. Cut.